All right, YouTube, how's it going? Tone M here, and I think it's been about, I don't know, maybe two weeks, three weeks since I uh, first showed the new uh, Musu um, 25-quart or 24-quart um, air fryer, and I uh, wanted to do an update on it, and I actually finally got myself a rotisserie chicken, so... There she is in there, and yeah, you're gonna laugh. Anybody that can actually see the detail, I can't tie a chicken. Uh, I, I <laughs> first time tying a chicken, so yeah, that's that looks pretty bad. But um, so went through the process, uh, followed all the instructions, uh, tried my damnedest to tie it. Um, one thing I noticed about the rotisserie chicken or the rotisserie raider in general is you guys are seeing it right now is it's trying to spin and it's not spinning now what I found out because it scared me for a second I thought maybe I bought too big a chicken but this thing says it's rated for a six pound chicken well I bought a five pound so what I found out was if you see that right there where this pointer is put the light back on it has a little bit of play right there and so what I found happens is it'll move and when it gets to that part where it's right up against it like that this part has a rounded end I don't know why let me see I'll take this out real quick and show you so you see how that's a bit rounded right there for some reason it'll slide out just enough just enough <sighs> Okay, just enough to where that little bit of space wiggles out and then that rounded part catches the square and it'll do what it'll do. Now see that I fixed it and you got that gap again. I'm going to close her and she'll start spinning again. So I got to constantly keep watching it, it looks like, which, you know, you're supposed to watch your food anyway, but a little annoying when you're trying to, you know, rotisserie and go, you know, or like do other things like clean and whatever. Yeah, I really did a shitty tie job but um i'll do better next time but anyway that's what it looks like now and see now it's dead stopped will it fix itself now see that that's going to be a little bit of a con for me i was having such good times with this we've been cooking a lot on this thing and i was loving every minute of it but Man, my wife says we might be about too big a chicken. But five pounds, it's rated for six pounds. I mean, unless it's my tie job. It might be my tie job. I, I mean, like I said, I, I, I never tied a chicken before. All right, so it is done. It fully rotated. Uh, the whole time. Now, one thing I will say that really kind of irked me uh, before we cut the video to see how it would go. I had to add that right there. It's still kind of warm, so I'm going to use the fetcher. So, this is a little washer that I happen to have in my garage. That kept this damn thing from doing this. Now it's not gonna, okay. Okay, see, so it did rotate, it moved a little bit. So, you can't see it probably, but right here, they got a rounded end. There's play in this, in that little spot right there. Well, that causes this thing. There we go. Oh, just kicked up. So this rounded end, I don't know why it's round. I guess to show you to put it in the hole, you have to line it up. It's obviously easier when it's cold. But you have to line it up and then put it in the hole, okay, where the square will meet. Well, that's fine and dandy, except for one thing. If you... 
have play in the thing like this does, this round part shows more. And let me see if I can get my light to shine on it. There we go. Let's see. Let's see if it'll focus. All right. So I'm about to pop it up just a little bit. But this little piece right there, it moved a bit. There we go. Right there is rounded. Well, this piece, if there's play, will go right just out of it like a socket on a messed up bolt. And like a worn socket, it'll just spin. And it'll cause the chicken not to spin. So that was one thing that I did didn't really like but what could I, oop, I had a plate where'd the plate go guys seriously yeah put it up here so chicken looks good Sorry. flip that over oh, almost dropped it my zoom is still stuck on hard to do stuff with one hand okay Okay, there we go. So, there she is in all her really crappy tying view glory. Um, I don't know if it'll spin for me. Probably won't. Oh. Nope. Okay, let me see. Get me some freaking gloves. There we go. There we go. Oh, she looks beautiful. Okay. Okay, I guess, in, and it's not as bad of a tie job as I thought. So, there she is, rotisseried. And done. This is five pound turkey. We did it for two hours. Now, that's another thing, too, for anyone who hasn't used this Musu uh, uh, rotisserie yet. Or air fryer in general, the 24 quart. So, when you do rotisserie, pick on rotisserie right there, it's blinking, you hit power, it automatically starts at 350 for 45 minutes. Now, you can raise it to a max of one hour, and then it kicks back to one minute. So, one hour... So we did the math, so it's 20 minutes roughly per pound. So we did the math, it was a 5.9 pound turkey. So we rounded up to six pounds. So we figured uh, 120 minutes, so two hours. So what we just did was we just went to and put it on an hour, let it run down, count it down to the end, then turned it back on, put it back for another hour. So hopefully our math is good and um, yeah, but, again, back to this thing, that irked me that I had to add this little ass washer, so anyone who's having trouble, don't think that your air fryer, uh, had broke, or has broken, because I'm going to go ahead and go on a limb here, and say it's probably that problem right there. That it's not that your air fryer broke, but that this stupid little rounded end is uh, coming out of the rotisserie hole, or rotisserating hole, or whatever, and um, not catching the groove to make it spin. So, that, I feel, is an issue that I hope Musu and any other company that any other people have problems with uh, will rectify because I believe these sticks are roughly about the same so my thought process is between the 24 quart the 10 quart or whatever other quarts minus the little really really small ones that have the rotisserie option I bet you these sticks are about the same length 
and they're kind of universal. So when they make these uh, machines, they just use the same stick. Uh, minus a little difference here and there. But I'm, I'm guessing that's the issue. And the reason I say this is because this seems too short. Like I said, when I put it in, it seemed fine. But there was a lot more space in that little hole where this thing goes into that that could have went in more. And let me see. I'm going to take this chicken out real quick and I will show what I mean. And hopefully there's someone else out there who's seen that or had that issue and understands what I'm saying. And I'm not just ranting like a crazy person. Take the... It's not so hot now, but... Come on. Really? All right, you're staying on. Damn, screw it. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. You don't want to come off, you don't want to stay on, what do you want to do? Okay, so, this is my thought process. At first I thought I put it in wrong. Alright, so, there's the hole. I'm going to put it in the hole. And as you can see, there's a lot more room, but it doesn't sit in the groove now. So I'm going to put that little zoomed in. Okay, see if it'll focus, focus. Focus, there we go. See, now it's not sitting in the groove. So you have to sit there and pull it out a little bit. Okay? Now, when it's all the way like that and there's space, oop, not that far of a space, obviously, but like that, it'll rotate no problem, no issue whatsoever, which is why I had to add that, uh, that washer because it spaced it just enough and it kept it spaced the whole time and let it rotate. Now, as soon as you slide it over or if it moves and that gap goes away, any little bit of resistance or weight causes that thing to slide out enough to where the round part catches. And look, look, I'm free spinning it right now with my fingers. Oop, I just took it off. See? That's an issue. So, I feel like they either gave me the wrong size stick or the sticks are all the same size and they just said the hell with it. No one's going to really pay attention. So I, I don't know. But if you go too far back, it comes right off or it's free spinning. So that's my gripe. Hopefully, uh, if anybody else is having that issue or if anybody else notices that their rotisserie just stopped spinning, hopefully that's the issue for you and you know just like me all it is is that the short the stick is too short and they have that rounded end on there which i think i get it but anyway enough of me rambling let's tie cut this chicken was i supposed to leave the neck on i don't know first time i ever kicked a chicken so if i'm not supposed well that came off really easy so i don't know we'll see that's going to be fun to clean Okay, let me get a knife. Oh, it's hot. Well, it looks cooked, actually. Hey, babe. Come here. Let's see how it looks. Help me out here. Oh, I hope it's cooked, because I just sucked my fingers like an idiot. <laughs> uh, 
Corona won't get me salmonella will. All right, let's see. All right, if you do the honor, sweetheart, I need... So I cut it, but I just need you to kind of... Oop, I hit bone. All right, I hit that little sternum thing. Well, it was a crappy tie job, babe, but it held. I don't know, play with it. Not play with it, but, um, you, you know, I mean, check it. How does it I look to you? need a fork. You need a fork. Ah, see, I only have one hand. Looks pretty good for me. <laughs> right? Publix, eat your heart out. It looks done. I don't see no pink at all. Oh, that smells good. So, okay, it's not crispy now, so well, we maybe leave it longer, I could have left it a little longer than two hours, but that okay, looks really good. No, go for it. Yeah, I'm going to cut here. I'm not good at this. I don't cut stuff. That looks good. I mean, she I looks could done, leave huh? it a little bit longer. Still looks juicy. Okay, I think it's all done. We sat it in brine. That was mm -hmm. the one thing I think we did right. We sat it in brine for, what, well, almost a day? Hours. And, uh... Can you shine the light here? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks real I good. I want that skin. That looks cool, delicious. cool, cool. All right. It's sliding. All right, oh, YouTube. And butter in the inside. Oh yeah, we put butter <laughs> in the inside. All right, YouTube. So there's my update on the musu, and oh. my one little gripe, and uh, pretty much my one con so far, because I've done steak. We cut. Oh, oh, it oh, actually I wish we could put the does. Pan uh, fit a whole pizza in there. We actually did put a whole uh, one of those store-bought pizzas and it fit uh, You have to use the because the round pan things won't work What I did is oh, it's pro it's in the washer. I used the actual uh, rack uh, Oh, it's right here I Used the rack held the pizza no problem air fried it beautifully and So it, it, it came out awesome. That was great. We've had steaks. We've had chicken. Oh, we've had... Uh, hell, I made homemade Chinese on it. Um, I haven't done any skewers or, or uh, rotisserie... Uh, not rotisserie. Um, skewered... Uh, oil usage, like, to nothing. Uh, um, shish kebabs or anything like that yet, but it's coming. Uh, oh, I did shrimp in it. I've done wings in it. So, I mean, we we cook on that big boy there more than we cook on the stove. So, um, I mean, unless we're making breakfast, then obviously we'll do that here. But, uh, yeah, so she is awesome. I am a little upset about the rotisserie part, partially because I think the stick is too short. Uh, that's what she said. But, so... That's my gripe. That, um, that's kind of annoying. If you have a washer, though, or some kind of metal with a little hole that'll fit through the, over the stick square and keep it in between the little uh, space, it worked. So for like the first 20 minutes, we were trying to figure out what was wrong. But after I figured it out and uh, I put that washer, she spun with no issues the rest of the hour and uh, 40 odd minutes. So that the least is a good thing. So at least the, at least it wasn't a defective uh, machine other than the stick being too short. So there you go guys. All right, YouTube, Tone M out. Stay classy as always. Later.